Well, again, and, and this company is doing a great thing. They're in Rochester Hills. They're called Prefix. And joining us now is their CEO, Kim Zyli. Kim, uh, thank you very much for joining us here on the Megacast. You're very welcome. Thanks for inviting me. So uh, I'll let you tell the story. I teased it. We call that a tease in the biz. <laughs> Why don't you tell us, you know, just take us through the whole thing. I Clearly, you're doing a great thing, but take us through uh, from beginning to the process to where you're at right now. Well, we, uh, we were approached by a very close friend of mine who happens to be an executive with the, uh, within the Beaumont uh, family of companies regarding uh, helping out on on some of the the personal protection devices and and specifically on face masks she was aware that we uh, we have a complete trim department here for doing our concept vehicles and uh, thought perhaps we could help out so we ramped up and immediately put our sewers to work on sewing face masks when in fact uh, the the Beaumont emergency operations center contacted us and said that face shields were even in higher demand and uh, sent me a, a picture kind of a cartoon of what a face shield was so we we looked at that and uh, rallied the troops around manufacturing face shields uh, quickly put together a die to stamp out the plastic uh, organized organized operation out of uh, New York, as a matter of fact, to supply the plastic and uh, went out and, and uh, acquired all the elastic and foam that was necessary and went into uh, an operation to hand assemble face shields. And uh, we've been we've been doing that since, uh, what, a week and a half ago and and manufacture somewhere between three and four thousand face shields a day. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? Are they staying here in, in Michigan? You mentioned the Beaumont system. Uh, you had some relationships with people there. Are they staying in Michigan or are you shipping them around the rest we, of the country? We aren't certain where they're going. Uh, we, we drop off at the Beaumont distribution center and we also uh, were, were requested by Homeland Security. So we are also sending a large order to Homeland Security and where they distribute, I believe they're all local because when Homeland called us, they were really, really excited that we were a local company here in Michigan supporting uh, Michigan law enforcement, Michigan fire. So uh, we, we've been, we believe that all of them are, are staying locally, yes. Kim Ziley, he's the CEO of Prefix in Rochester Hills. They're making face shields right here in Michigan, 4,000 a day. That's, that's huge. Uh, are, are these being used in hospitals by medical practitioners? Are we uh, seeing EMS uh, people using them and use them in a wide variety of applications? I know that we have, we have supplied them to the local law enforcement sheriff, and uh, local police departments, local fire departments, as well as the hospital, the Beaumont hospital system. I'm not sure if uh, we've we've shipped almost 30,000 to Beaumont, and I'm not certain if that's just for Beaumont or if they've they've sent it to affiliates. I I can't answer that. We we supply a distribution center and uh, they, they take them from there. Uh, Mr. Z- uh, Ziley, it's you know it's um, it's amazing because it sounds to me like you've been doing more custom work, working on concept vehicles and not mass production in your shop. So to me, if if I got that right, this is a big change for your company. This is an enormous change. Our our entire business. I've been at it forty years. I started it uh, forty years ago last year. And our entire business is based on building one or two of something. Yeah, Kim, I I can't I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to meet you because you totally and it's not you. It's just you. It is you, but it's also your leadership, but also the fine work of all of your employees to totally embrace entrepreneurship during this big challenge and say, you know what, change is hard. We're going to do something different. And if you had this skill, can you change that and work on this? And I'm sure that's what you had to do when you went to talk to your team, your staff, your crew about about making these shields. Yeah, it was it was really an interesting uh, an interesting day that we that that I came to them and I said, look at 
Beaumont needs 20,000 shields. Let's rally and, and do what we have to do. And, and I practically had to push people away because they wanted to volunteer to help in order to uh, participate in the solution and not just uh, commiserate about the problem. No, it's I'm, good. I couldn't be more proud of the team here at Prefix. Well, I want to come out and meet everybody after we get that. Uh, we'll bring a video camera out and do a story once we can get out back in public and it's safe and and uh, and the governor says it's okay to do it. But I, I, I appreciate you taking time today. It's a great story. Are you keeping all of your employees that you had engaged in this? Have you had to bring more people in? How's that going? We have brought in some outside volunteers, friends of mine that also wanted to participate we have, uh, we have 263 total people, so not everybody has participated. Some uh, feel, feel that it's more important to stay healthy and stay at home, and I fully respect and uh, honor that. But uh, we, have, we have approximately 25 or 30 people every day come in and volunteer to be a part of uh, building face shields and contributing to the solution. Well, you're doing a great job. You're making all of us proud here in Oakland County. We're all together in this thing, and I, I imagine some of those face shields that you're making at Prefix in Rochester Hills are saving lives of people, and will save the lives of people listening to this broadcast today. So good work. Bravo. Well, thank you very much. Please extend our congratulations to your whole team. We look forward to meeting you, and, and uh, if there's anything we can do to help, let us know. If you need to get a message out to anybody, let us know. By the way, we had a great story in Oakland County, too, where there's another organization down in Muncie, Indiana, who is doing something similar to you. They had to get some shields up here, and a bunch of my friends in the pilot community flew down with our little planes and got some stuff. So if you, get, you need anything flown around, you know, there's a lot of volunteers there, too. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. We have to stick together. That's how we're going to get through this. All right. Are you healthy and everybody doing okay? Uh, yeah, we've only had two people that tested positive here of uh, 263. So we're hoping that it uh, stays that low. All right. Well, let's all, let's all hope it gets back to normal, but and it will soon. Yeah. But until then. It will. In, in, I know it will. I appreciate your confidence. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. All Thanks right. for the time. He is uh, Kim Ziley from Prefix in Rochester Hills.